neural networks are easy to train, relatively speaking, to solve complex problems. And they can cover a very broad range of, pro uh, of problems. Um, they're, not, they're not limited um, in any way to the types of data you feed into them, at least not compared to any of the other machine learning algorithms. But with a neural network, it's very hard to actually understand what's happening inside of it. So we, we had our, our simple decision tree there, and it's super easy to, to just go up that tree and figure out why decision was taken. A very simple neural network might look something like this, right? Like it's a, it's a very complex graph, um, and it's not really intuitive or possible to just go back the graph and figure out exactly why a decision was taken. A very simple neural network might look something like this. And you can see here that it's, it's basically just an equation, right? So there's, there's nothing scary inside. Um, neural networks are essentially just very complex graphs with a lot of tiny, easy to make equations inside of them. Um, but they're, they're not really explainable. Like when you, when you add up all of those millions or billions of tiny, of, of tiny equations, the, the result is going to be complex. It's going to be hard to navigate. Um, and that's partially where, where MindsDB comes in. So again, I, I've told you that the aim of MindsDB is to be simple to use and hopefully showed you a, like kind of how simple we, we try to make it to be. But the other aim of MindsDB is to be explainable, to be usable by people which aren't machine learning specialists because they can figure out why a prediction was made. 